again, this is Jennifer Waymark, archivist for the Oshawa Museum. Thank you for joining me once again for this monthly podcast. In 2009, an interesting series of photographs were donated to the Oshawa Museum to become part of the archival collection. These photographs are glimpses into a family with a connection to an event in Canadian history that will be celebrated this year, the 100th anniversary of the Battle at Vimy Ridge. The Battle at Vimy Ridge is considered by many historians to be a defining moment in Canadian history. It was during this battle that Canadian troops were heralded for their bravery and their strength, and for leading a stunning victory. This victory was not without great cost in terms of loss of life. Over 10,000 Canadians were killed or wounded in this battle, and this is the story of one of those soldiers. The battle was the first time all four Canadian divisions worked together. It's considered a turning point in the war, and holding the ridge was important to the eventual Allied victory. Private Phillips of Oshawa was one of the Canadian soldiers who fought at the Battle of Vimy Ridge. Philip J. Phillips was born in Shoreditch, London, England, on December 28, 1875. Born to Henry and Elizabeth Phillips, the 1881 English census shows us Philip to be one of four children living at home. The 1891 census shows that the family had grown to include two more children. The census also shows that the eldest son, Henry, was living with the family once again. This fact may be due to the death of the elder Henry, as Elizabeth is listed as a widow. Philip married Emily Turnham on Christmas Day, 1898. The couple, along with their daughters Emily, who is six, and Grace, who is an infant, arrived in Montreal from Liverpool, England on July 28, 1906. From there, the family made their way to the final destination of Oshawa. The ship's registrar lists Philip as a cabinet worker, and he appears to continue this work when he arrived in Oshawa, as his attestation papers list him being a woodworker. Upon arriving in Oshawa, the family lived at 63 Athol Street. The family also grew to include his son, Philip Jr., who was born in 1910. On December 5, 1915, Phillips enlisted with the 116th Battalion, the Ontario Regiment. Phillips was with the 18th Canadian Infantry Battalion during the Battle of Vimy Ridge. He survived the initial battle, which ran from April 9th to the 12th, and was relieved from frontline duty by the 24th Battalion. At this time, the 18th Battalion moved back to the Divisional Reserve on April 13th. On May 6, the battalion moved back to the front line to relieve the 24th. The front line was under heavy shell fire. On May 7th, five soldiers were killed, 13 wounded, under continuous bombardment of gas shells by the Germans. Phillips was one of the five that were killed that day. He was wounded in the shell attacks and died of his wounds at the regimental aid station. He was buried at the Vimy Communal Cemetery near Lens, France. At the time of his death, his daughter Emily was 17, Grace was 12, and Philip Jr. was only 7. To survive the initial battle with such a high casualty rate, only to die one month later truly speaks volumes to the horror of the First World War.